Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Survival. We are here with a new purchase. If I turn the HUD on, I spent all of our money. <laughs> However, we have a beautiful, you know what, just leave the HUD on. We have this beautiful new wheel loader. Because I was getting tired of doing it a thousand liters at a time, in all honesty. And once we fill up, oh, come on. Wiggle we'll your big butt off there. Come on, get unstuck. Get unstuck. Get unstuck. <laughs> All right, let's try that with maybe a little more gusto. Oh, come on. There we go. I'll have to fix that. Um, anyway, as I was trying to say, I got a little annoyed doing a thousand liters at a time. Went and grabbed us the bigger of the Volvo BM wheel loaders with a 3,600 liter bucket. Which is really handy, except for we need really only needed 3,000. Unfortunately, I couldn't find just a 3,000 liter bucket. Oops, forgot to turn the time on. Sorry about that. I've been doing that a lot lately, haven't I? Oh, well. Um, so the red trailer over there that we used for silage last, and haven't touched it since, will be getting filled with the remainder of the silage when I am done putting my 5,000 liters into the cattle tractor. And the reason for that is we will be moving the silage pit. And I want to do it sooner rather than later. There we go. Not that there's much left in here at this point. And our cows are being cows and eating a lot of TMR. Trying to nail this. I don't know why I'm being so jumpy with it. There we go, a little closer to 6,000. Come on. Eh, good enough. Um. Yeah, I'm, I, I thought this was going to be a lot of feed. Boy, was I wrong. We are, um, and I did already put some in there last, last time I loaded the trailer off camera. Um, I put a scoop into the red trailer as well. Come on now. Alexander, you gotta get off me, buddy. I love you, puppy, but you gotta get off me. Why always when I'm recording do you want to maul me? Oh, right, because I'm recording. Oh, goodness gracious. Distracted by the dog, and look what I do. Yeah, Alexander, that was all your fault, puppy. He's giving me a look. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's get this tipped in here. No, 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 no! Stupid thing. I won't fill up anymore. I just need to pull this trailer off this hill, don't I? Ooh. That was almost a mistake. Oh! The bucket's empty. I was looking at the... Wow! Too many distractions. My brain ain't working. Not that it ever works anyway, but you know what I mean. 
So we still have 22,800 liters in there. At 6,000 liters per feeding, we don't even have four feedings. And I will go over here and jump in this guy. So what that tells me is that we need a corn crop as soon as possible. Um, likely something we need to deal with in this episode, if at all possible. I don't know that it is possible, but, you know, we can only do what we can do. That said, I will have to stop recording this momentarily. Um, I forgot to send him off. <laughs> I did add a little to the auto drive. Oh, I didn't move it yet, though. Let's turn on edit mode. So we want to go to the... We don't want that at all anymore. Um, we want to go to the bale barn. So that our driver here can... Oh boy. Oh boy. He's going to crash right into something if I don't redirect. Um... Beautiful. So what was that saying? Oh yes. Ah! Get out of there. Um, I've lost track of what I was saying. Sorry guys. Something about the, the feed. Um, I honestly do not know how we're going to handle this because of situations I don't think we're going to be able to generate enough uh, hay or silage Come on, wheel loader. To uh, keep them fed. Because they eat so very much. I really thought this silage would last way longer. But they're going through about three feed mixes a day worth of feed. And that is not great for us. I think I want to take the uh, Harvest Queen off of there, the Field Queen off of there, and uh, tow it back with this, if this will tow it. Because I can bring back a bucket load of silage as well. I don't know if our silo there will hold silage, because I can't remember if I got a full multi-fruit or if it's limited in some fashion. But if this will tow it, we will tow it. Actually, why? Why bother? Well, hold on. How much is left in the pit? 14,000. And... The trailer holds 11? 12? So, even hauling some in the bucket, we're not going to make it in two loads, are we? No, we're not. That's alright. Yeah. 
if this works, we'll send the field queen off on her own separately. This should work. This has a nice hitch on the back of it. But for now, I need to go and get ready to do a stream with Richard. So I will talk to you guys later. I am back from streaming with Richard and we are able to tow this with the wheel loader. Let's jump into this guy. All very loud equipment. That's all right, with the way I have OBS set up, you guys should still hear me fine. Sometimes you don't hear the equipment anywhere near as loud as I think you will, which throws me off. All right, you go to the farm. this I should be able to just tip straight to the ground since I have the wheel loader. I can use that to uh, to pick it up off the ground and put it into the feed mixer. I have not checked our milk production or any of that just yet. In theory, we should have plenty. In theory. Really, y'all? That tractor's too close for you, huh? Is there no way to pasture extension milk 35,516? Okay. And of course I put this over here where that path is that completely forgetting that people actually walked on this part of the path oh well stuff happens grab this bale Stick this guy in there. And we will, of course, have to get another one out. We're just going to cheat real quick and actually move this here for the moment. Why won't it let me go up and down with it? That was weird.
can I tip this to the side? I gotta select it first. Nope, it is either back or green door. Get that a tipping. Didn't want to tip, it wanted to fight me. And I will go back for a second load. Well, I put that feed mixture in and started to head back to grab the next load, and as usual, there is a accident. Although it just just clear on its own, own for a moment. Idiots. And so many of them. <laughs> I really do hope the traffic will be better in FS25. It's supposed to be. Supposed to be. Well, that comes right out perfectly, doesn't it? Wow. Let's sneak down this side of the pit over here. We will swing this trailer in here. The nice thing about an articulated tractor or other piece of articulated equipment like a wheel loader is you can use that magic butt wiggle to back up dolly trailers relatively straight if you take it slow and steady. All right, we're gonna work from just this side. rather than trying to monkey around. Going through the pit and over the product. Because we can do this. Beautiful. So I will keep going here. And I don't know what the next thing will be just yet. I'm still figuring that out. That is the pit emptied. We're not going to worry about that tiny little bit of chaff there. What we are going to do, because we will be moving this pit, we're going to sell this, sell this, and we're, for the moment, going to sell this. I know we're taking a loss on it, but... Um, it gets us what we need. So the biggest thing we need right now, ooh, brakes, <laughs> our brakes, um, is a slurry tanker. I'm going to show you what I want to get. All right, so go here, slurry tanks. Now we could get this one. We could afford this one right now. It's the same size as our milk tanker, which I would also like to upgrade. However, this guy, 
nine meters cubed, 9,000 liters for only eight grand. And it's both a transport trailer and a spreader. And we could recolor it as much as we wanted, you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, there's the spreader. So we could use it to fertilize our fields uh, in addition to just transporting. I don't know what all the, oh, those hose connections. Um, we could do different wheels, you know, and it sits really high because of its funky design. But most importantly, we'd combine it with this semi right here with the uh, Chevy. And that says 8,500, but it will cost us 9,500, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Delicious. And um, <clears throat> we would, you know, make use of that. Um, we would be able to spread our fields with it if we wanted to tow it through the field with a semi, that is. We could also get a dolly for a tractor, but no, we'd probably just stick it on the semi. I am kind of regretting buying this wheel loader, but it saves a lot of time on cleaning that pit out. The trick might be just getting it done. And I misread this trailer. It was 15,000 liters, not 12, like I thought. I do still have some in the bucket as well. Um, and I think it's combining those values together right now actually so maybe it is only 12 <laughs> oh who knows um but yeah um oh good the tractor is done i'm gonna pull this guy right up here for the moment watch this trick we come alongside we can refill out of the trailer into the bucket. I'm pretty sure we can also... What is up with that? Why are you dropping on the ground? Oh, that was a little weird. I think it was still trying to fill even though it was full. I bet you that's what it was. But I think we can refill directly into the feed trailer as well, which would be nice. Go pick up the mess off the ground and then maybe put some more thought into how exactly I want to do the slurry because we actually have quite a lot of it already they are making slurry at a prodigious rate One thing I could do is sell some milk for some more money. I do have milk in there. And we have a wheel loader right here that will pull that milk trailer. So I don't know where the point is for this. It's not marked anywhere. says there is milk in storage where I pick up said milk at I couldn't tell you I've never used this set of mods before you would think it's right here next to this right I don't have to open a cover or anything no alright let me figure that out after a whole lot of faffing around on things we ended up Spending $800 on the old wooden manure barrel, which only holds 2,000 liters, but 
only 800 bucks. Well, spent ten dollars on the fill trigger. That was the secret I was missing. That connects to the different silos, which I moved both to this side, so that they would both be close to the fill trigger. We'll have to fix that at some point, but right now I don't care. I'll probably end up putting the manure heap there, so it won't matter anyway. Um, so yeah, that has let us. Oops. complete and the milk tanker is also full so now where can we sell manure specifically slurry the liquid manure um, is slurry even listed it is wow no selling point available ah! but we can use it to fertilize our fields do we have a field that needs some poo spread on it. Oh, and I got dogs barking like idiots. Oh, one little dog downstairs barking like an idiot. Hmm. Dogs. Oh, yeah. The field we're, we're on could use some. So could that field. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at how tiny that spread width is. No way. Never going to happen. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not even... Nope. <laughs> I'm not even... Nope. Got to remember to open. Will it fill without opening? No. And the trigger for it is sensitive. I did find that out. Seriously, you're gonna misbehave now after working off camera? There we go. Okay, close it doesn't work open it it does okay so it does have to be open I am going to put in a sale point that I'm not gonna pay for um, you know but I'll figure that out in a little bit okay I figured a few things out moved a few things some more we shifted these forward so that it was easier for the tractor to get in and get lined up because I have a worker. Let's jump in and see how many cycles he has left. Apparently he has eight cycles left still. Um, he's running loads of milk right next door. Um, let's see what route he takes. Okay, he is going this route. Oh, yeah. I had it on pause while I was working on stuff, and once again, forget to freaking unpause it. I'm terrible about that lately. Thing is, I need to remember to check it more often. Um, I only noticed it because I looked up at our money. So he's done a couple loads because there were 12 loads. Um, it's fine. I did also spend some of the money already. I put in a manure heap. All right, I want to see which way he goes now. Is that still connected to the left? No. That's all right, because he should just go right over here to the intersection. I turned off the traffic for the moment as well because of working on the auto drive stuff. He should be turning that corner, and he is not. Why is he not turning that corner? You know, I keep noticing that they don't want to turn that corner. But I don't know why. Did something get disconnected? Of course it did. Of freaking course it did. That explains so much.
Now, he should have turned that corner, and he's still not. What the frickin' hell? What the frickin' frack? Uh, maybe just because I was too close to it, didn't calculate properly. That does happen. Let's go a little farther away. Let's start here. Yes. Much better. Much, much better. And now he should take the right hand fork. Yes. And zippy doo da around. Well, that'll greatly speed up his processing. Jump out of there. Let him continue on. I really ought to put that on the little tractor. But yes, we have a manure heap. So now we just need some straw to put in with these guys to make use of manure heap. So let's jump through our guys. What are you doing? Why are you not working? I guess I forgot to hit start. And we can turn work mode off here. Yeah, this guy. I've completely forgotten about him this entire episode. Um, he needs to head to field 34 or 11. 11 is literally right across the road. And 11 was sorghum? Yes. Sorghum. Perfect. So we will get that going. Shame on me. Shame on me. And this guy never got continued either. Yep. I'm being a failure. Really, guy? What are you doing? Oh, he's out of seed. I'll take care of that. Alrighty, to round out this episode, we're going to go and deliver some crop. Make money off of it. Canola and sunflowers are both very near their best price at the oil mill. We're going to take the canola first because its price is actually decreasing. I think the sunflower's price has just stabilized and will start decreasing shortly, but um, since the canola is already decreasing, it only... Oh, got to turn traffic back on. Traffic. It only makes sense to take that first. And I'm not getting any contracts for the bailing, and that's bothering me because all the grass fields are ready to go. They are just ready to get cut. And I'm ready to get cutting. The only thing I don't have that would be potentially nice is a bale wrapper. Which I don't even know if there is a vintage enough bale wrapper. I don't know how old that Sipma is or how old that guy is. Both of those are for round bales anyway. McHale988. How old is that? McHale988. 
988. Years of production. Oh, nice. Apparently, 1998 is when it started production, which puts it in our range. All right. Now we just, oh, and we can afford it. And we can afford it. Yes. Yes. And yes, please. Standard three, that is. We will go with the blue foil. Buy that thing. So now we're low on money again. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Well, that's extra not fair. <laughs> Even more not fair. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Sorry about the sneezing before I could get... <clears throat> Why is that so far back? Before I could get the uh, mic up and out of the way. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, Firestones. Yeah, buddy. Um, is there a cab? Yes! We're going to straight pipe it. Put the right levers on it. The right gauges on it. Long white, please. Front loader attacher, yes. Oh no, we're over we're over specced. We are over specced. No. Well hopefully that's still in the sale when I get around with the next load. I don't know what's going on with the milk. Must have all been delivered already? And I spent all that money because I bought the new toy. What a way to end out the episode. <clears throat> we got this massive Mikhail bale, um, bale wrapper that is barely within our time frame. And yes, yes, we did get that tractor before it left the sale. Amazing. 144 horsepower of goodness. Man, I would love to own one of these in real life. Even though that cab is hideous, the European cab is much nicer. Um, we are going to just take this bale wrapper straight to <coughs> two of the grass fields. Because right after I complained about them not showing up, they showed up. I'm pretty sure that it was 
the very next contract generation and reset. But what do you do, you know? What do you do? So I'm going to go and drive this up here. We already have the mower started going uh, in the other sets of field, which are going to be hay. This guy is just going to drop this off up here. And, um... Oh, 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 nice. Duels that have no collisions. How funny. And then he will probably be grabbing the Baylor. Or the Tadder. Or the Windrow or something. He will grab something. Now what's nice about this is that we also get the silage bales. So we were starting to worry about running out of silage because it's going so much faster than I expected. Well, this kind of fixes that. And yes, I did kind of fiddle with the contracts a little bit because it was one hay here over here and one silage over here and the same at the others so I just kind of fudged and fiddled with them to make both silage in one location and both hay in the other um, and by that I mean I accepted the contract canceled the contract accepted canceled accepted canceled until I got hay or silage as I wanted basically um, so yeah for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you on the next one.